like to special events, you know, with other children, adults, and all sorts of things, and she wasn't comfortable going. And I think a lot of the time it was because she couldn't communicate properly. So I sort of put pressure on both my husband and I um, in any sort of social interaction she would have. And Ron's got a huge desire to communicate, so he talks all day, but very few people understand anything that he's saying. From both his point of view and our point of view, it can be very frustrating. Communication for me was verbal, so words, language, and not so much uh, gestures and yeah, just other signs, cues that I could, could see. It means a lot to me and my husband. It's very important to be able to understand your children and what they need. Um, more so than ever now that she can speak, it means more than anything. It means what we're missing out on now that she can speak. Communication disorders affect 1.1 million Australians every day. Communication disorders limit a person's ability to participate fully in family life, their community, education and their professional life. Communication disorders can lead to a risk of literacy problems, poor academic achievement, low self-esteem and mental health problems. Hi, and at daycare we were thinking about her going to kindergarten the next year and she wasn't talking. We could hardly understand anything she was saying um, and it became very frustrating. Um, we were pretty sure Ryan would have some level of speech problems because uh, he's got Down syndrome and a speech delay is really common with kids with Downs. Um, but he also has a cleft palate and had a hearing loss, a conductive hearing loss um, due to both of those until he was two um, and had comments in surgery. So we knew that we were on the path to having speech issues and needed speech therapy um, and in the end that's been a big issue as well. Very. It's, Ilya has changed a lot over the last few months. She's been going to social events and talking and chatting. She's got to go to dance class and people can understand her and she will respond to people when they ask her a question. Whereas um, nobody could understand her a few months back. So now everybody can, which is really good. <laughs> oh, it's helped them both to play together now. They didn't used to do that as much as they do now. They uh, can tell me what they want more specifically. No. Just recently, Eric, Eric was sick and he could tell me where it really hurts. So there was a huge, huge plus and yeah, huge uh, relief for me to know. I could actually you know, pinpoint what it was and help him specifically. Hugely important. So it's. Um, I think you realise when you've got a child that doesn't communicate easily how much they miss out on in terms of interacting with their peers, um, interacting with other adults. Um, his ability to control his environment is also something that is limited by his communication. Communication is vital for life. Communication is vital to life. Early intervention is key. Early intervention is key. Speech pathologists make a critical difference. Speech pathologists make a world of difference. Sign the pledge. Sign the pledge. Take a photo. Take a photo. Share this video. Share this video. Together, we can build a nation for communication.